I'm going to show that the internal and external bisectors of an angle of a triangle uh, pass through the ends of the circumdiameter, which is perpendicular to the side opposite the vertex considered. And the circumdiameter is a diameter of uh, the circumcircle. Uh, so let's let's uh, get started on this. Let's go uh, create a, a generic triangle of some description, ABC, and I'll uh, constrain the lengths of the sides. Um, a, B, C. So we're going to um, have a look at the uh, angle bisector at B. Um, now we're getting the internal angle but internal angle bisector um, to get the external we just create a, a, a line perpendicular at B. So there's the internal and the external angle bisectors. Now circumdiameter we need the circumcircle so let's create that. And here are the two intersection points. One is here, and one is down here. And so the theorem says that this line here is perpendicular uh, to this one here. So let's find out if that is true. Uh, clearly, D goes through it because it's the right angle. Oh, well, we could test that um, uh, too. So let me just. Take a look. EF is the circumdiameter. Is the yeah, circumdiameter? So uh, we can just look at distance E to EF. And as we'd want, that is zero. Uh, good. Um, now we'd like the angle uh, between AC and EF, five by two. Um, so there we are, the theorem is proved.